In this video, I'm opening over $1,500 worth of Pokemon booster packs that I purchased blindly from TCGplayer.com. This could go one of two ways. Actually, it could go a lot of different ways, but I don't know if we're gonna get a ton of really cool stuff. Oh, oh, this pack was good. If we're gonna get resealed packs. Oh. <laughs> or if we're gonna get Wade packs. Oh my god, we're doing so bad. Either way, we're gonna be starting at the cheapest booster pack that's worth $15, going all the way up through until we get to a $400 booster pack. All right, so it's gonna be really risky, but we're starting off with a $15 booster pack. I covered the shipping label and all that stuff, so all these are in order from cheapest to most expensive. But let's get it started here with our first booster pack of the day. And it's $15, and uh, is it in here? <laughs> that would be a really bad start. It's in here, we're good, okay. So our first bag is gonna be Sun and Moon Forbidden Light. So yeah, Forbidden Light is around $15, $16 booster pack. I paid $15 for this one, and they have all different sellers on here selling them, so you kinda don't really know what you're gonna get, I guess, until you get it. Really quickly, if you want a chance to win a PokeRev 4.0 pack, all you have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. Well, let's start off with your $15 booster pack, Forbidden Light. Let's see if we get a really nice pull out of this first pack. That would be a really, really good way to start off the video. It looks like the cards, they look pretty good. We got Forbidden Light cards in here. Nothing too out of the ordinary. We got Noibat, Magnemite, Skrelp. Let's go. We got our reverse into a non-holo. And yeah, just for reference, there was a green card in there. Next booster pack up is going to be a $21 pack. Let's see what we have inside of this one. And make sure you stick around because it goes all the way up to a $400 pack. Our second pack, ooh, it's going to be Ultra Prism Sun and Moon. And these are as much of a surprise for me as they are for you guys because I didn't go in and purchase all these myself. I had somebody go through that and do them, so it's... A total surprise for me. And of course, everybody's going for that Lily Full Art Ultra Rare. It's a $400 card. Um, this is different conditions for cheaper, but there's Cynthia as well. There's a whole bunch of, this is like a really good trainer set as well as some evolutions like Leafeon and Glaceon. This is a good set. This is definitely a, a pretty top tier Sun and Moon set, uh, but let's see how we do here. Remember, Sun and Moon era is tough. Um, pack looks good. Cards look pretty good here. We got Lily, Magneton. Come on, let's go. Piplup. Murkrow, Eevee Reverse, Solid, Shaman Non Hollow. All right, it's that risk that we're taking. Next up, it's the $33 booster pack. Um, Let's get this one opened up. Let's see what we got. And what's this? Oh, Phantom Forces, baby. Let's go. All right, Phantom Forces. It's going down. We have like this little bag that it's in. Uh, let's see if we can get it out there. It has like the cardboard behind it too to kind of keep it nice because it was set in a bubble matter. This one looks actually really clean. This looks like it's straight from a booster box or something. And this is one of the most expensive sets from the XY era. Um, you can get the Dialga Silver card, which is sick. The Gengar, uh, Mega Gengar. There's a lot of different Gengars in here. A lot of really cool stuff that we could pull. Let's get a silver card. Let's get a silver card or a Gengar. All right, let's see. Looks pretty good so far. Let's pull that code card out. Green and white code card. Three from the back for X and Y. Let's go. All right. Now we're heating up a little bit here. Battle compressor. We got a Purloin. Come on. Zubat. Slurpuff. Can we get a pull? No. <laughs> Not doing too good right now. Not doing too good, but hopefully we're saving the luck for the better packs. Or the more expensive packs. Anyway, the fourth pack up of the video is going to be a $54 booster pack. Let's crack into it. Let's see what's inside of this. All right, come on. Moment of truth. Oh, this is a black and white booster pack. I believe it's Plasma plasma Blast, right? Plasma Blast here. The bottom's kind of like a little bit curved here, bent in for some reason, but should be fine, hopefully. All right, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Let's see. Pop it open. You can see in here a little bit. All right, the pack is getting destroyed. But anyway, the code card is going out. All right, we'll go three from the back on this one. Let's see how we do here. Expensive booster pack, reversal trigger. We got Tropius, Pokemon Catcher, Carablast, Houndor. We're in the black and white era now. Kind of jumped right to it. We got Squirtle. Porygon, War Turtle, come on, see what we got, it's got to be something, oh my god, we're doing so bad today, War Turtle Reverse, oh, it's risky, look, it's risky, we're buying loose packs, 
first of all buying loose packs is uh, always a big risk depending especially if you're buying it from a random person at least somebody that you know and trust would be a good way to start and then knowing where they got the packs like straight from a booster box or sealed product is always the best way that's always what i recommend but this is more for educational purposes and um for fun 170 dollars on this one and it's in a box this should be interesting let's crack into this one this this is sent uh all right come on there we go and it's just falling apart we have a blue bubble mailer thingy okay Let's see what this one is. How much was this? 170. 170. Okay, we're moving up. 170. This has to be pretty old. Let's see. Oh my god. Come on. Oh, I should have just maybe I'll just cut the top. Okay, there we go. We have Oh! Heart gold salt silver undaunted. Let's go. Wow, okay, this is with like a little card saver behind it. This is a good way to ship some packs out. Just keep them protected and everything like that. Very nice. The pack looks really clean. Looks like it could be right out of a booster box or a sealed product, so it looks good at least. All right, so this set is a really good pull rate. You can get a lot of different Prime cards like Umbreon, Espeon, Haldoom, Raichu. There's the Ath Lithograph, Secret, Secret Rare in here. Uh, you can get the, um, the, what do you call it? Wow, I forgot the name of them. Um, <laughs> the Legend cards. Uh, Rayquaza and Deoxys, Legend card, top half and bottom half. Top half and bottom half, Legend cards are these as well, and then a bunch of cool hollows. But here's where it gets tricky, because we're out of the code card realm, and we're into the no code cards, which is risky, because these packs could be weighed. No challenge is too great, no battle is too fierce. Arco Soul Silver Undaunted. Alright, this might be a fierce battle for us, let's see. Hopefully we can get something out of here. Alright. So I think I'm just going to go three from the back. I'm not sure. Let's see if that works. We got Jolteon to start off as an uncommon. That's a nice card. I mean, you get some really good uncommons and commons in here, too. We got Scyther, and we have Muck as our three uncommons. Drifloom. We got Slugma. Hitmonlee. Come on. All right. I like the border style in here. This set's from 2010, by the way, so it's like 15-year-old set just about. We got Aaron. Oh! Oh! It was, <laughs> dude, this back was good! Oh, <laughs> dude, no way! Oh my god, dude, it was completely unweighed, dude. What? We just got a Raichu Prime card. That's one of the best pulls in the entire set. Let's go. Oh, okay, okay, yes, our luck's coming back on the big hitter packs. Dude, that is sick. Wow, that card's clean, too. Oh my god, our luck has finally turned around for us and on the most expensive pack so far. Let's go. Whew. Dude, I'm shocked. Not only was it a pull, but it was a prime card. All right, I guess it is possible to get some stuff from packs here. Let's uh, let, let's keep going because it's going to get crazier. All right, what do we have in store for us? Your guess is as good as mine, but it's a $280 booster pack. All right, let's rip into this thing. Let's see what we got here. I don't know. All right. We have more bubble wrap. Okay, that's, that's always good. Uh, oh, it was cut. Okay, it's gonna be in here. Oh, what is it? Oh, Plasma Storm, this is crazy. It's actually not as old as the last pack, but it is the top tier from black and white. It's one of the top three sets easily, in my opinion, and one of the most expensive. Whew. All right, can we keep the luck going? It's in the card saver too. It also looks really clean. Um, I guess we'll have to see what happens though. You never know. All right, so the biggest pull is gonna be the Charizard Secret Rare going for, it looks like almost $700 just raw out of the pack. Cards worth thousands out of ten. Same with the Blastoise. That's a huge secret rare pull. Lugia Full Art is awesome. Articuno. We got some trainers in there. Cobalion, Victini. Um, some cool EXs. Let's go big with this one. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, should be a code card in here, though, which is always good. You never know. All right, there we go. So, our code card is coming out there. Got that Plasma Storm artwork. We're going to go three from the back. Can we continue with this luck here? We have Rotom to start it off. Hopefully unweighed. Lunatone, but you never know. It's really, I mean, it's like, it's its really risky. Coughing. Come on. Doduo. This is 2012 set. A couple years uh, newer than the last one. Pantsir. Purloin. Let's see what we come up on. Timber Reverse. And the rare. 
Oh, Bouffalant non-hollow. Dang, okay, we're all, we are striking out on most packs there for that one big pull. That's all right, we got a huge pack here, uh, or at least it should be. It's 360 bucks, so I would hope it is. This is gonna require some surgery to get into this box, though. There's tape everywhere, so give me a second here. All right, I think I got it. Here we go. Moment of truth. Ooh, ooh, who is this? What is this? Is it Ruby Sap? Oh, it's Ruby Sapphire. An EX era pack. Woo, okay, let's go. Yo, this is a risk right here. <laughs> Everybody that, I gotta say, all the sellers so far, I mean, I don't know if they've been weighed or not or what it, what the deal is with that, but I would say all the sellers, like how they send the pack so far has been really good for the most part. Um, this pack looks pretty clean. It is a super old set though. What's the exact year? 2003. Ruby Sapphire, EX Ruby Sapphire. Oh man, E series. This is gonna be. I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen. I hope we get something though. But yeah, this is actually the first ever uh, from the EX era that when Pokemon took over. This is the first set right after Skyrim, which is weird to think. This is right after Skyrim. <laughs> Sky Ridge. <laughs> right after Sky Ridge. <laughs> Skyrim. Oh, uh, right after Sky Ridge. Um, okay. Official Nintendo seal of quality right there. Let's see. Well, I guess we'll just open it up. All right. Oh, I don't know what the pack trick is on this. We're just going to go straight through. We got E-Series, baby. Let's go. Makuita to start it off here. Slide that, and you got yourselves your E-Series card in the E-Reader. We got Wingle. Zigzagoon. Some nice artworks. Definitely changing the vibe when they have, like, this reader strip on the bottom we got Pucciana. come on Ooh, we got an energy okay 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 we might come up on something after this uncommon it could be like the last card or the second the last card energy switch we got energy restore oh we got a reverse oh it's the energy switch looks pretty good looks pretty clean all right but what's gonna be behind here come on baby let's go no, Zeptile, non hollow, rare, right behind it. I mean, all the cards look like they're pretty much straight out of a pack to me. So don't see anything that looks like weird. Um, but yeah, these could easily definitely 100% be weighed. That's the problem. And you don't really know, especially when you're getting into like the older you get with loose packs, the weirder and weirder, weirder and weirder it can get. Right now, our only pull was from one pack, the Harkle Soul Silver. Uh, not looking too great. Don't really know. I mean, it doesn't look like we got anything resealed. Uh, we got we got one more pack. It's the $400 pack. The $400 pack, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. Um, I say we just see what we got. What's $400? It's got, it could be Wizard of the Coast. It could be EX. It's got to be probably one of those, right? Maybe Diamond and Pearl. Cole Legend. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, I know what that is from the back. You don't even got to tell me. Fire Red Leaf Green with the Blastoise artwork. This is our last hope. And this one's double protected here. Oh, my God. Okay. We have, like, two uh, of these back to back. One in the front, one in the back. Oh, man. Okay. Fire Red Leaf Green. Looks okay. Looks okay. Hopefully, it is okay. And, of course, the set list. Gengar, $300 near mint. EX. Venusaur EX, $300. Last Toys EX, a couple hundred dollars. The Articuno EX. Why does it look like that? Oh, it's... Oh, oh, it's the it's the uh, crystal, like the cracked whatever. You know what? It's interesting that it looks like that in the picture, but it doesn't look like that in real life. That's like without the hollow effect. This is like the cracked ice version. Huh. Okay. i never seen a photo of it like that. It's kind of weird. Oh, I don't know if you guys could see that. There you go. Yeah, it's kind of weird looking at it like this, but yeah. There's a lot of different cards. I don't know why Charizard's all the way down there. It's kind of weird. It's not the most expensive one. I don't know how accurate this is right now, but uh, yeah. Wait, yeah, I don't know what's going on with this list. Anyway, let's crack this open and see how we do here. Hopefully, there's no funny business with this pack because this is the most expensive one. But uh, see, you got the odds stacked against us. There's two things that could happen. It could be weighed or it could be resealed. Could just be good straight out of a box. That's what you would hope and want. But in reality, I wouldn't expect it. But here goes. 
All right. I think it was like 2004, I want to say. 2004. Yeah. <laughs> 20 years old. Okay. I'm going to check out the seal and everything, too. Looks good. It opens pretty much like a normal pack to me. Looks pretty normal. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I think, anyway. I hope. Thought I saw something down there, but... I don't know. We'll double check. We'll, we'll, we'll open this up. Uh, I don't know. Pack trick. I forget. These ones are weird. Okay. We'll go straight through it. We got Nidoran. Magikarp. Do Duo. Look at these artworks. This is when Fire Red Leaf Green Games came out too. Such a cool time. Bulbasaur. We got Seal. Oh, we got a Firo Reverse Rare. Dude, that's pretty sick. Wow, man, look how sparkly that thing is. That's basically a hollow once you get the rare reverse versions with these. Look at that. Okay, I hope there's something behind here. Let's see what happens. Oh my god! They didn't weigh it. That's crazy, dude. We got two really good packs that were definitely unweighed. Man, right you hollow in there too? Drowsy's chilling. Super scoop up. I think we did pretty good. I don't know. We got pretty lucky today. Because um, even if it was unweighed, you still have a, like that one in three chance of even getting something. Dude, we went out. We got like most of the packs I felt like were legit today. That's actually pretty surprising. I thought we were going to run into a couple problems because we have before. That's pretty dang lucky if you ask me. Right, you hollow. And you get the Firo. And wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Raichu was definitely the Pokemon of the day. Look at that. That's crazy. Raichu Hollow and the Raichu Prime card saved us today on this opening. Um, overall, I think um, everything was pretty legit for the most part as far as I could see. Overall, I think we were pretty lucky today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day. And I will see you on the next one.